discussion uh, about that primary, but I just don't know what, I haven't had any conversation with Sheriff Joe about that. Uh, I can understand his frustration right now. I think the man has been kind of drugged through the mud as much as uh, you can imagine. Uh, I think his prosecution was, as I've said many times, a political one. And, you know, a lot of times people don't realize that uh, George Soros came in from outside Arizona and spent over $2 million, I understand, uh, just attacking uh, Sheriff Joe in his last election. So anytime George Soros is coming after a guy, it must be a pretty good guy. They went after and, him quite uh, deliberately. Uh, the, what got me, frankly, Congressman, was the refusal to allow Sheriff Joe a jury trial. Uh, that should not be. You should be open in before a jury of your peers. Isn't that America? Well, there's no question about that, Stuart. I think that's the, one of the biggest points anyone could make. And I'll tell you, there's a, a very clear reason in this case, and that is that uh, a jury of Joe's peers would have definitely yeah. uh, adjudicated him uh, innocent. He would never have been facing any kind of jail time or conviction, in my opinion, I, and I feel very strongly about that. So, and this is a constitutional right. I know they said, well, you know, it, it isn't enough jail time. It has to be, uh, I think they, they made sure that they would uh, ask for uh, just exactly enough to jail time that if they asked two or three more days of jail time then he would have been given as a matter of, of law the the jury trial. So this was really set up in a, in a very political and a very uh, unjust way and I'm glad the president had the courage to say no we're not going to let that happen we're going to put it right and I, I really appreciate him. also appreciate you know I heard your comments uh, prior here to uh, the, the people in Texas. The president really responded quickly and decisively in Texas. I, I used to be a Texan, they're the toughest people in the Union, uh, but I think uh, it's, it's great that we're responding as we are as a nation to them. So, once a Texan, always a Texan, surely. But let that's, me move on. That's, uh, I have to be somewhat careful being an Arizona <laughs> member of Congress. <laughs> yes, sir. So, now you're on the Armed Services Committee in the House, and as you know, the North Koreans have fired this intercontinental ballistic missile. It flew over Japan. We did not attempt to intercept it. We're waiting for the White House response. What do you think our response should be to a clear provocation? Yeah, well, uh, you know, North Korea has, has watched uh, several presidents in a row, uh, Mr. Clinton and Mr. Obama, making it, uh, uh, tremendous concessions to them without sort of uh, securing the hostage in these cases. And so they, they think they can do it again. I think they're making a mistake here in a big way. Uh, my first recommendation years ago when they were preparing to launch their first uh, test was to position our, our advanced Egypt capability there and to try.